Welcome back to the Art of Ram, everyone. Swamp Trog here. Today I'm teaching you a tail saw front side reaver. Uh, this trick I don't do that much, but it definitely, as I was a younger rider, I would do this a lot in mini ramps. Uh, I haven't ever tried one in the deep in the bowl. I've never tried it on vert. I for sure will this year, but um, today I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks to landing your first tail saw front side reaver. Um, one last thing I want to add, I want to just thank everyone who's been subscribing, commenting, liking the videos here, and I get a lot of questions how we can support uh, the Art of Ram, and the best thing I can say to show support financially is to go over to my nonprofit, beaborder.org, and buy a t-shirt from us. Um, all that money will go back to buying a new set of trucks for a complete board that we'll give out in the community out here in Minnesota. So again, beaborder.org nonprofit I started four years ago and uh, that's how you can show your support back to the trick here though uh, so again you're gonna want rock fakies for a setup trick you're gonna want tail stall of course mastered again mastering is three times in a row what you're gonna do is as you're approaching the ramp you're gonna unload the weight into the tail stall once you're right up into that tail stall that upper body is gonna start cranking over beyond 90 degrees. You're almost going to be fully twisted in that 180. As for foot placement, let's back up on the ramp here a little bit more. And what I've been doing for foot placement is just keeping my feet in a rock fakey formation. So covering the floor screws, the little wider stance, my front toe is over the edge. My back foot's in the pocket, hugging close to the hardware bolt. You got about an inch and a half exposed on the tail. Again, this is a front side trick out. So put together all the front side work you've been doing, whether the front side axle stall, front side, front side grind, front side disaster. You're gonna have the pull with the front foot. You're gonna have the push with the heel. Again, like the backside disaster video, you can do this front side too, working on just that turn, all right? Just a power slide, snap, turn around, unload the weight, all right? So that's one movement that you might want to practice for this. As you're going up the ramp, like I was saying, get into the tail stall, you turn that back hand, twist it all the way in front of you, and as you're going down, again, you got to remember to keep that weight into the ramp, lean into the ramp, stay low, breathe out, and force that back foot all the way around into uh, into fakie stance. All right. Let's just run through it real quick on the ramp. Again, we're coming on the ramp, hitting into this tail stall. Now I'm not gonna. At first, I'm not gonna get up into a fully stalled tail stall, all right? I want to get into sort of more of a tail tap. And at this point, my upper body's totally cranked around and I'm committing to turning my hips around the boards. And as we know, once we get into fakie stance, we want to be centered on our board. Our, our helmet will be over the center of the board. If you don't ride a helmet, I don't know what's wrong with you yet, all right? Put a helmet on, go big, all right? So get up, tail tap, reverse. This intermediate ramp riding series, it works for me to do and teach these tricks on a five and a half foot ramp. I encourage you guys to go back to smaller ramps, try all these moves and all these tricks that we've been going through on smaller ramps and making your way up to bigger ramps as tall as you, all right? And then take it beyond that. Um, as for any other tips and tricks, really that, that pull with that front foot, that push with that back heel, that's kind of your push and pull counter that you need to have going. As you come out, as you'll see in these video replays, trying to keep my shoulders square, looking where I want to go. When I'm up in the tail stall, I'm just looking down at the board, looking at the ramp where I'm going to ride down. Same old stuff, different trick, all right? This is a great trick because we are going to start going into 
pivot fakies, feeble fakies, 50-50 axle stalls to fakie, all right? And so this is kind of the starting point of really getting that upper body to twist and then doing the revert and letting your lower half catch up with you. So stay tuned, this is a short and sweet video uh, today about that fakey tail stall revert. I hope you enjoy, subscribe below, tell a friend about it, and again, if you're trying to support, buy a t-shirt from Via Border. Appreciate you guys. Until next time, ram it down. Whoop. Okay, so here's a bailout pattern for a tail stall frontside revert. Now, this is really nerve wracking for me. The one thing that you want to practice on your, your revert bailouts is get up into the tail stall and literally try to just do the 180 into the knee slide. But it's probably gonna be more like a 90 degrees into the knee slide. I was just up there, my knees were shaking. I didn't know like how to bail out of this. So I tried one and what worked for me is just do the tail stall and then let the upper body continue the rotation. Let the board just go straight in instead of having that board starting to turn. This is a very commitment trick. So you get up in that tail stall, your weight's all in the ramp. You're gonna have to twist in. And if you start twisting the board and bail out late, it's just gonna be dropped to the knee pads. But this is like, I got up into the tail stall, I'm starting the twist. This is what the bailout pattern looks like.